Hi everyone, we're going to do part three of how to create and load your own module onto Rachel. So part three involves using an FTP client, a file transfer protocol client known as an FTP client to connect to Rachel and to load your module onto the device. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and actually download an FTP client. And I'm downloading FileZilla. There are plenty of um, other FTP clients, but this one seems to work just fine. So you just click the download FileZilla client. And download FileZilla. And they, they trick you here. You always want to do the one that's free. So download. And I'm going to put it in my download folder. And I can open it and install it on my computer. Now you don't want to just click yes for everything. Um, the way they make money is by having you install other software, which you don't realize you're doing. So click next here, install files. Oh, so here it's asking you to install additional software. You don't want to do that. You also don't want to install this additional software. And nothing too bad happens if you do. It's just a little annoying when they try to get you to sign up for paid subscriptions. Okay, so now I can start FileZilla. So I have FileZilla. I also want to make sure I have my module. So this is the third part of the training. The first part we talked about creating a Rachel web page, which is with HTML to create a Rachel web page. And then we talked about the need for a Rachel index.php file. So there's the index page, and this will show you what your web site is going to look like on Rachel, and this has the ability to link to sound files, mp3 files, video files, PDFs, and, and that sort of lesson. thing. And then there's also a Rachel index.php, which is needed. That was part two of the training. So I assume you have all of this and that it's on your desktop um, for the purpose of this training. I'm going to close this here. So we need to um, connect to our Rachel device. It's also important to not be online uh, otherwise. So I'm going to disconnect my computer's Ethernet cable. And so you'll see this is going to disappear. And now all I have is the connection to my Rachel device, which has no Internet. You're used to seeing this already. Okay, so here's your Rachel homepage, and you can tell right now it does not have this new sample module, which is about Namibia, on it quite yet. Another place that you can um, check to confirm is logging into your administrator section here. And then you can go to um, this modules tab, and you'll see there's nothing en-sample module on here yet. So the way we do it is we go back to FileZilla and we type in that address you're used to seeing, 192.168.88.1. We have the username of root and the password, which you should have, and then the port number is 22. And then you can hit Quick Connect. And so what we've done now, you might get something that asks you to store this device. You can click Yes to that if you got that page. Um, now we're logged into Rachel. So this side is Rachel and its files. This side is your computer and its files. So here we go. We just clicked on the, the one little slash, which means like the most um, basic level of files. And then we need to click on media. And we click on Rachel. And we click on Rachel again. And what you'll see here is the modules folder. So you can click into the modules folder and you see this is where all the modules are stored. And alphabetically, we don't have en-sample module yet. So this is a good place for us to put it. We're going to go back up. And these little dots let you go up. And see, so went down and then back up. Okay, so I want to end up putting it in this modules file. So on my computer, I want to make sure that I'm at the right place, which is in the C directory, and then on users, and then my user profile, and then my desktop. And here I see the sample module. So all I have to do now is just carefully drag this over to the modules folder. And you'll see it's connecting and transferring. Great, and so I've had successful transfers. All files have been transferred successfully. 
So if I come back here and I refresh the page, great, you can now see the sample module has been uploaded. Same thing on the Rachel homepage. If I refresh this page, my module has now been uploaded. I can click to it and all of my content is now on Rachel. So that's the um, really basic and easy way to upload a module to your Rachel device. You can also get modules from OER to Go, and that's the number two, go.org, and download the zip files from there. And then you can unzip them on your computer and upload them this way as well. There are um, some advanced modules which require an additional step, but for any modules that you're creating on your own, uh, this is more than sufficient to get your content uploaded onto Rachel and to have it show up as one of these modules. Okay, feel free to have any questions, um, post them to our forums, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks so much.